Welcome everyone to the OP5 Premium Support Webinar. We have a lot of people attending, so please save the questions until the end when we'll, we'll open the chat. Uh, this webinar will explain what OP5 Premium Support is and why you will benefit from it. We will also do a quick recap of who we are and mention what we have planned for the future. Fredrik Åkerström, VP of Sales and co-founder, is the presenter. Please hold your questions until the end. I now hand over to Fredrik. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to the OP5 Premium Support webinar. Um, I'm the co-founder and VP of Sales EMEA, and I will take you through the session. Uh, the agenda today is our solution with focus on OP5 Live, uh, just covering a slide there. We were also covering a slide with our support and professional services that is delivering the premium support. And we will also cover the main topic, of course, which is this, the premium support. We will also covering what does it mean for you? What is the benefit for the OP5 premium support? And then we will end up with a question session. Three topics today with focus on Primo support, of course. Uh, first one is a couple of words, uh, how you get more out from your Open 5 solutions. And uh, the first one uh, that I would like to cover is the Open 5 Live. Uh, it's a SaaS offering that gives you the uh, availability uh, and performance on your web services, including the content validation, availability and status on Google Apps and Amazon Web Services, visual trace uh, road analysis, basic analysis of website performance, TCP checks, status on certificates, DNS services, and much more. Seamless integration with OPA 5 through the REST API, and of course, it's mobile friendly. I uh, just mentioned that OP5 is free up to free servers. So if you want to try out the system, feel free to go into our homepage and log in, get yourself an account and log in and try it. The second thing I would like to bring up before we go into the premium support is our professional services. They do integration, updates, training, development, both remote and on-site for our customer. Uh, we have a large support team consisting of OPFI monitoring experts. They also, that, this is also the team that run the support. We have phone, email, and screen sharing if needed. And also mentioned that we have a global partner network that is supporting our professional services and vice versa. So, today's main topic, premium support. Uh, OP5 has 95% customer retention year after year, but we want to be better than that. After dialogue with our customer, we introduce premium support to build a stronger relation with our customer. So, what is premium support? What does it mean for you? If we start with the OP5 standard support, which you all customer have today, it's include an uh, unlimited number of incident. It also includes four tickets, or sorry, four number of reported reporters. It also has support hours eight to seven, EMEA or US, depending on where you are based. Initial response time, next business day. Online self-help self resource, which is the knowledge database. Online case submission, which is our ticket system. Technical support via phone. And remote assistance via a secure tunnel. And it also is support for distributed setup. The price for uh, the standard 
uh, for perpetual is 90% of the license fee. I will get back more on details on that one. Uh, first, also covering what's included in the premium. The premium support will include unlimited amount of incident. It will also include 15 number of reporters. It will include support hours 24 seven. Initial uh, response time is four hours. Online self-help resor uh, resources, the knowledge database is included, of course. Online case submission, the ticket system is included. Technical support via phone is supported and remote assistance secure tunnel. And we also have some options there. We'll, we will get back to that later in the presentation. It's support for distributed setup. It's regular scheduled webinars, Q&A with support. It's priority case included in, in specific when we have very high low, we will prioritize the premium support customers. Uh, the price to go up from standard from perpetual is 23% uh, on top of the 19%. So it's just a calculation there. 20% or 90% uh, the standard, 23% up for the, uh, the premium. Uh, if you do a calculation for the upgrade, it means that you go take your existing support cost against 1.21. If you run a subscription, it's included in the standard, the support, and the subscription fee will go up 3.4% to get the, uh, the premium support. Why do our customer require premium support? Uh, we had a, during the 10 last year have discussion with our customer why we need a premium support. First of all, is our global customer that has a global organization or a distributor organization inside a country. Service window to follow, which means that they, they need to upgrade during nights or weekends, or they have their service window night and weekends. So they, they need to have support on their system during that time, not only working hours. They also would like to have multiple reporters or multiple admins that could reach out to our support. They also need a faster response time. Just to give you an example, uh, for, for a big customer that has data centers around the world, they would like to follow the Sun concept, uh, which means that they have a support organization that take over from the time zones before they, they are active. So it goes around the globe. And that we, we also would like to covering and support these customers that has this need. So premium support, more in details. I already mentioned, and I will go even deeper into the uh, specific uh, support issues here. Number of incidents, unlimited. Number of reporters was 15. Support hours, 24 seven. Initial response time, four hours. Online self-help resource, the knowledge database included, online case submission, the ticket system included, technical support via phone is included, remote assistance, secure tunnel, support for distributed setup included, regular scheduled webinars, Q&A direct with our support included, and priority case process prioritized included. So what is exactly included here then? The number of incident, that's the amount of ticket the customer is allowed to log during their contract period. In the premium support, the number of tickets are unlimited. The number of reporters, that's the amount of contact 
who is allowed to log a ticket. The customer will have to register their contacts. So in, in the premium support, it's in total 15. Support hours, as I already mentioned, 24, 24 slash seven. Initial response time, time until we start working on the ticket. We normally have a low, very, very low response time, but these levels are set to cover variants, abnormal amount of tickets, sickness, leaves, and things like that. That, that could change our load. Online cases submission, create a ticket from our support portal. It's also possible to track the ticket and the support case via the portal. Online self-help resources included. Our online knowledge database, which include FIQs, how-tos, etc. A known error database and a product troubleshooting guides are under development, and this will be a part of the premium. Technical phone support, 24-7 included. Remote assistance. We can set up a secure tunnel to a customer. This is the fastest and most effective way to resolve an issue. Uh, if you have the premium support, we will also uh, include tools that could be used like TeamViewer, Zoom, and WebEx. Or uh, if there is any options from a customer perspective that is better. Support for distributed setup, support for a system with pairs and pullers. Webinars Q&A with support, regular Q&A webinar sessions with the support. and we would love to hear what, what kind of webinars customer asking for so we, we can put an agenda for each webinar there. Priority case, high priority, foster support for premium. So next step, if you would like to know more about this, please contact your sales rep or contact us at sales at op5.com. If you want to know more about the price or ensure my presentation, how you calculate the price, we will help you with that. I also would like to uh, inform you of an upcoming webinar in the 19th of April, which is about the MSP license. And uh, the last thing about the uh, premium support is that for you that attendee, we give you 50% off and up the upgrade until the end of April. But to get that, you need to contact your sales rep or sales at open5.com. Before we get to the end here, uh, I just would like to covering a couple of things that happens in the future here. Uh, if we start now in April, uh, we do have the premium support 50% off upgrade campaign. In April, we will also reconstruct our platform. It doesn't affect you as a customer if you already are a customer, but it will affect new customers. So I think that's a little bit out of the scope in this session. Uh, we will release OP5 premium support 1st of May. We will also release OP5 Academy 1st of May. There will be more information on that coming out. During May and June, we will release integration with ESLog, ServiceNow, NetApp, Grafana, 3PAR, and EMC. And in May, we will also release Business Services and Gridmaster. Business Services is the new version of existing business services and grid master is a master of the master for very large environments and i also would like to promote our inspiration conference 17 of may in stockholm so you are welcome to come and visit us there will be more information sent out of that later this month 
that's everything for now and I hand over to Marcus. Well, we hope that you found the webinar in interesting and uh, some of you uh, may have questions. So uh, we'll soon open up the chat function for you. Uh, please write your questions in the chat field. Uh, and you can, of course, contact your sales, contact or write an email to sales at ot5.com if you have any questions. Uh, so let's see if we have any questions in the chat. Okay, we have one question here. Uh, will this presentation be emailed to me? Uh, yes, we will email the presentation to all attendee and it will also be, uh, it's also recorded, so it will be on, on YouTube and we'll come out more information on that, where to find that. If we just wait a couple of seconds here, we have another question coming up here. Okay, uh, what is the level one support? Uh, First level support is a uh, handless issue that could be fixed right away and, and uh, otherwise uh, they will send it direct to the second line support that goes deeper into the uh, the, the issue or the problem or uh, try to fix that. But the level level first support, they, they take care of the ticket, registrate it and try to solve it. If it's a deeper technology issues, it will be handed over to the second line. Uh, one question here, if I can go back, I'm not sure if I understand. Yeah, okay. Can I go back to standard support in the future? I assume uh, you mean if, if you upgrade to premium support, if I can go back to uh, standard support? Yes, you can do that. Uh, you can do that at, at next renewal point. So upgrade to premium support, it's possible anytime. But go back, we do that at the renewal point. Uh, we also have uh, one more question here. I think it might be the last one. Let's see here. Uh, can we change the contact person, um, the registrator, during the contract period? Yes, you can do that. You can, uh, if somebody leave their work or, or you know you want to put another person as a main contact you can change that no problem see if we have any more questions uh no i think that's it can no okay so uh, marcus well, thank you very much, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed yourselves, uh, and uh, we'll see you next time.